Hello, I'm Natasha Foreman. Welcome to the Breaking Bread with Natasha podcast, where I share daily devotionals from my namesake blog. So you can listen on demand to spiritual messages inspired by God's love as expressed in the Bible and other religious texts. You can read along at breakingbreadwithnatasha.com or sit back and take in the word. Either way, I'm blessed to have you break bread with me. Without further delay, let's begin today's message. Welcome Breaking Bread family. This is Natasha Foreman. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's look at the book of Acts chapter 3 and we're going to look at lines 6, 8 through 10, and 12. The translation that I'm reading says, Then Peter said, Silver or gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. He jumped to his feet and began to walk. Then he went with them into the temple courts, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the same man who used to sit begging at the temple gate called Beautiful. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. When Peter saw this, he said to them, Fellow Israelites, why does this surprise you? Why do you stare at us as if by our own power or godliness, we had made this man walk? Don't be shocked when you receive or see healing. Rejoice, but don't be surprised. Praise God, but don't be amazed with the blessing as though it were improbable or inconceivable. There is nothing God can't do to heal, make whole, and restore. There's no barrier he can't eliminate. There's no problem that is too great for Jehovah Jireh. There is, he's the great I am that works through us. We are not autonomous, independent sources of power. We get our power from him. Stop elevating and worshiping the creations and start giving God all the glory. Give credit to the power, not the one who uses it. Embrace his light and healing presence and be a blessing to others. Let's pray on that. Father, thank you for the ability to reflect you, to heal the sick, feed the hungry, clothe the naked, give drink to the thirsty, uplift the hopeless, share in your grace and mercy to build faith in those who doubt your power and presence. Thank you for showing me daily what you can do and what I can do through you. Thank you for providing me with endless examples of your love. Thank you for showing me how I can do what you have asked of me, how I can bring people together in a space where they want to believe and form their own personal relationship with you. Thank you for my blessings and gifts, Father. I humbly pray for your continuous guiding light. In Jesus' name, amen. And with that family, I pray that you are blessed, that you see and embrace your blessings, and that you are a blessing to others. I love you all. Go out there and make today an awesome day. Take care. Hi, family. If what I shared in today's message resonates with you, I hope you will share it with others. Feel free to leave positive comments and reviews on my site, breakingbreadwithnatasha.com and through whichever podcast provider that you're listening to me. Each day, I work to be a better steward and servant. I hope you will join me in sharing God's love and truth and rebuking the enemy's lies. Now go out there and make today an awesome day. I love you all.